My grandfather used to say that you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. That's why quality milk is so important for cheese making. It takes the goodness of 10 litres of milk to make just one kilo of cheese. So the milk flavours are amplified tenfold. Then when you go on to age this cheese for nearly two years in the case of a vintage cheddar, the flavours are then further amplified. We believe that this is why the milk from the grassy southwest cheddar region makes the best cheddar cheese in the world. When the milk arrives at the dairy, it's tested to ensure that it's of the highest quality. The milk is used as freshly as possible. It's pasteurised into the vats. Pasteurisation is a heat treatment that kills any harmful bugs in the milk. The milk is heated to 72 and a half degrees for a minimum time of 20 seconds. The milk is then cooled back to 30 degrees C and pumped into the cheese vats. Obviously we can't divulge all of our secret recipe as that stays locked in our safe on the farm. At Wyke we have our own unique starter bacteria which we grow up in our culture lab. These bacteria are unique to Wyke and mean that no other cheddar in the world can taste like the cheeses we make here at Wyke. This bacteria is cultured up and then pumped into the vat which develops the acidity and the flavours in the cheeses. We are one of the only dairies in the world still using and preparing bulk cheddar starters in this traditional way. The starter and the warm milk are stirred together in a process called ripening before the cheesemaker adds the rennet, a natural enzyme clotting agent which is vegetarian and extracted from the root of a plant. This means that all of our cheeses are vegetarian. When the cheese is set, the cheesemaker will test the firmness of the curd junket in the traditional way and then commence cutting. Very gently at first, as we don't want to damage the precious curds. Cutting the cheese releases the whey from the curds and prepares the curds and whey for scalding, the cooking process. We heat the curds and whey up to around 40 degrees C. Of course the exact temperature remains a secret and is part of our secret recipe. Around 90% of the milk that comes in drains off as liquid whey. Just the solids in the milk are retained as the curd. We separate the whey proteins from the lactose in our ultrafiltration plant. These valuable soluble proteins go for athletes' drinks and infant formulas. We also evaporate the whey for exports. Any remaining fat gets used to make our traditional farmhouse butter. The whey sugars, the lactose, go to our anaerobic digester where we ferment them to produce gas to run our generators to produce our heat and electric that runs our whole cheese process. After most of the whey is drained off, the remaining curd is cheddared along the belt. The cheddaring process is complex and achieving smooth curd edges are critical to the final cheese texture. Using this system, we are able to make four tonnes of cheddar per hour. The cheddar curd is building acidity all of the time. Along the way, the cheesemaker will monitor the acid development in the cheese. When the required acidity is reached, the curd can be chopped up in a process called milling. As part of our secret recipe, we have a target acidity at milling. The milling releases whey from the curd and increases the surface area ready for salting. We then add the salt to the curd at a rate of 2%. This slows the acid development of the cheese and helps to pull more moisture from the curds. The curd is compacted and pressed in the towers and a vacuum draws the remaining whey from the cheese. The cheese is then packed ready for aging for up to two years. We pack the cheese in wooden boxes to hold their shape during maturing. These boxes are reused and many are over 50 years old. The cheese will now be aged or matured in our stores to, to develop their creamy, complex flavours. 
Our stores are designed to replicate Grandmother Ivy's best maturing barn on the farm at Bruton, so they are kept at traditional maturing temperatures, including the seasonal variations. A mild cheese will be kept for three months, a mature cheese for up to a year, and an Ivy's vintage will be kept as long as two years. Our cheeses are grayed at one week old, then every month through their life until eaten. Only the very best cheese makes it to be a two-year-old Ivy's vintage cheddar. Grandmother Ivy would be proud to know that her Somerset cheddar is being enjoyed in over 165 countries around the world. Not bad for a lady who never left Somerset, let alone travelled on a plane.